Welcome to Electricity and Magnetism, Part 7a, Introduction to Circuits. And as you can see on the screen, a circuit is nothing more than a path that a current takes. Current is a flow of electrons and they have to flow through something, and that something is called a circuit. Now because electrons are matter, they require energy. So for current to flow in Flow, voltage, and that voltage is sometimes called potential difference, must be applied. And voltage is nothing more than a measure of the energy of the electrons in a circuit. The higher the voltage, the more energy they have. Now we deal with circuits, we like to draw diagrams or drawings, and when we do that we use a set of symbols. Now here are a few symbols that are used. You probably don't know what these all are just yet, but we will get to them as we go along. I'm presenting them here so as we study circuits more in depth, we'll be able to use these to talk about what's going on. First symbol is a voltmeter, circle with a V in the middle. This measures the voltage in the circuit, or part of the circuit. An ammeter measures the current, or the amps, or the flow of electrons in a section of a circuit. Squiggly line here is a resistor. The resistor is nothing more than something that uses electrical energy. A refrigerator, TV, computer, uh, electric stove, and so forth. Symbol is a cell, and a cell is nothing more than a device that changes uh, chemical energy into electrical energy. And as you see, it has a long side and a short side, the long side being the positive pole, and the short one being the negative. When you hook two or more cells together, the form is called a battery, and here we have a three-cell battery. Same convention holds, positive here and negative here. This is a switch. Obviously, it's open and a circuit is not made, as we say. And once you bring that down and close it, the electrons are free to flow. A lamp, pretty straightforward. Power supply, two points to hook up. This could be a plug, a battery charger, or anything of that nature. And here we have the symbol for ground. This is quite literally means take part of the circuit and run it into the earth or the ground, hence the name. Now a couple of simple circuits here. The circuit right here is a cell, switch, and resistor. Electrons flow from the negative to the positive terminal. You see this switch is open. Electrons will flow this way once the switch is closed. Here we have a second circuit, power supply, electrons flow from negative to positive through the resistor into the ground. And if you remember, I said that's really a part of the circuit that goes right into the earth. Electrons flow from G1 to ground 1 to ground 2 back to the terminal here. And as it says here in the second circuit, the electrons or current flow from ground 1 to ground 2 through the ground or the earth to complete the circuit. And obviously, this is where term ground comes from because the electrons of current flow is actually through the ground or through the earth. Okay, hope that helped. Please leave a comment.